We are actively monitoring the damage from Idalia and where it's heading next after making landfall as a Cat 3 hurricane. You can see and hear how powerful this storm was. Holy that car's flying! Incredible. This is new video from Goose Creek, South Carolina, just north of Charleston. The storm spawned a possible tornado that flipped that car, injuring two people. Happened right in the middle of a highway. The governors of Georgia and North and South Carolina have all declared a state of emergency. Big Bend is where the peninsula merges into the Florida panhandle, and Edalia was the strongest hurricane to hit there in 127 years. The storm roared ashore with 125 mile an hour winds, bringing catastrophic storm surge up to nine feet high. Idalia is blamed for two crashes, resulting in at least two deaths. There have been dozens of water rescues with thousands of homes and roads underwater. Pete, where is Idalia right now? Well, right now, Chris, the remnants of the hurricane is moving through uh, the Carolinas at this point. You can see it's kind of moving right up the coast. Landfall was 745 this morning. As Chris mentioned a moment ago, it, it did make landfall in Florida's Big Bend near Keaton Beach. That's Taylor County. Category 3, winds of 125. There we are. Right now it's 15 miles north northwest of Charleston. Still has strong winds, 60 mile per hour winds gusting up to 70, but it's moving northeast to 21. So it's moving rapidly and it'll move out to the Atlantic as we head through the overnight tonight. Starts to fizzle out off to the southwest of this is Bermuda, off to the southwest of Bermuda as we head through the upcoming weekend. So that's the latest there.